All right, so we're here at Temple Mountain right now. Got our uh, campsite all set up. I'm actually out here with the, the, the family making a proper dinner with the Dutch oven. So we'll see how that all turns out. It's kind of a little run around here of the setup. Hopefully it kind of comes up. It's pretty low light right now. But yeah. It's a nice uh it's a nice area to go camping and uh it's a cool place to go looking for uranium, which is usually the reason why I come out here. But uh, let's go check out the top of this hill really quick. I was just complaining about the bugs around here and I just saw a bat fly by, so that's kind of a good thing. At least they're working on getting the bugs down. Uh, back down to the campsite. Put it on top, or another plane no, on top of that plate. one. A plate, a plate, a plate. Okay. Can you give us some ring pop? Dinner's almost ready. Oh, good morning. <laughs> uh, so I just went out for a little hike. I just took the GoPro 360 camera up with me. Uh, just to kind of get the overall feel of this place. And uh, yeah, it's uh, much cooler in the daytime, obviously. Nice little fire pit out here. It's pretty rocky camping. Whirlhole. Loki, what's this? Loki! What's this? What is that? What is that? What is that? I know. <laughs> well, let's sum this down for a second. Let's go as far as I want to go with that. <laughs> Yeah, that's an amazing place to be. One of my favorite spots to go looking for uranium and exploring old mining sites and just to hike around this Temple Mountain. Finally in the sun. Loki, what are you sneezing about? The uh, only thing I didn't bring with me right now is my Geiger counter. Which I probably should have. So I'm probably getting close to that formation. It's like the Chilean formation or the moss back. It's one that usually has uranium in it. Come on, let's go! Come on! Come on, let's go! Yeah, there you go, boy. Loki, over here. Hey, hey! Over here! Nope! <laughs> Just don't trust him.
No way. Come on, let's go. Down there. Good boy. A little drop here. Loki, come on. So it's also running this uh, Dometic fridge, Dometic uh, CFX uh, 45. And I went to the check on it this morning and it was off. And I was like, oh, what happened? And this EcoFlow battery, it actually turned itself off because it got a little too cold. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. But it seems like it started back up this morning. So it should be fine. But uh, yeah, it's a little worrisome. If you have something that, uh, <laughs> that depends on power all night, then yeah, that should be a problem. But um, maybe if I had it in the tent with me, it wouldn't be so bad. So this whole area is actually a uh, old uranium mining area. Uh, they mined it starting, I think, in the late uh, 1800s and up until, I think it was the 1960s. That's when they stopped. Uh, 1960s, 1970s, somewhere right around there. Uh, but this place has a pretty good seam of uh, uranium. This place has a lot of history. There's actually petroglyphs all over the walls. I mean, not all over the walls, in some areas. And it's also a really popular place for people to go ride horses and uh, off-roading and hiking around. And it's it kind of has like a feel like it's a national park, but it isn't. So um, you can collect rocks out here, it's totally fine. But it's a place that has a lot of history to it and a lot of beauty. And I'm just really glad to be out here right now. Ah, uh, the sun's almost here. It's kind of nice being in this little canyon area so the sun doesn't get to you right away. So if you want to sleep in and not boil in your tent, it's pretty nice. Canyonlands right now. I uh, found a nice little camp spot here. Got the solar panels out, collecting the last little bit of sunlight for today. And yeah, those uh, panels are actually charging a EcoFlow battery, and then it's uh, that EcoFlow is running the Dometic uh, CFX three forty five. And uh, it's been a pretty good combo so far. I, I know, you want to touch the lens so bad. Yeah, I know. A little nicer, uh, I don't know, Temple Mountain was pretty amazing. But this is, this is also pretty amazing, so, yeah. Yeah, we're just outside of Canyonlands uh, National Park. And this is a free camping area uh, that's just open to everybody. First come, first serve. So yeah. And then I'm also getting some 360 GoPro time lapse here. And we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, not a lot of radiation hunting out here. This is more just, uh, you know, checking out this area and camping. But anyway, this is like kind of like a wider view of uh, the campsite here, just kind of the view. Yeah, looks like that paramotor is gonna maybe fly right over us. <laughs> that was pretty cool. See a bunch of paramotors cruise around the outside edge of the park. I don't think they could fly actually inside the park. But looks like they're uh, 
doing it up pretty good right now, so I don't think they really care. Puppy dog? What did you do? Did you roll around in the dirt? Yeah? Too much driving today? So tonight we are having enchiladas prepared in a Dutch oven. Green enchiladas. Yeah, green enchiladas are pretty good. Giant enchiladas, avocado in them. Wow, that's gonna be amazing. I already know it. Good times are ahead. Little baby Scarlet is dressed for slightly chilly weather. Yeah? Yeah? What a beautiful night this is going to be. Probably try and shoot some time lapse because this, I think this rock formation here is going to be really cool. So I like set up a camera somewhere around here and uh, see what I capture. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Maybe we needed more sauce down there. Oh, maybe. cold night. I am having some problems with that EcoFlow battery. For some reason it is shutting down in the middle of the night. I think it's because of the cold, but I don't think it's that cold. It's probably maybe in the 30s, but it shuts off and then when I wake up in the morning I have to turn it back on and sometimes it stays on and then sometimes it shuts off again. So I think uh, that battery just needs to stay warm or something. So that's something to think about. Maybe keep the battery in the tent if you gotta run something all night, but for a fridge, I guess it's not that important. Still, it's a pretty good setup though. Can't really complain too much. I mean, it's nice having it. It's nice having a cooler instead of an ice chest. It's like before I was using a Yeti and that was, yeah, it was all right cooler, but this is way better. I just like not dealing with ice anymore. That's pretty cool. So I just finished up a late breakfast of banana pancakes and that was a little bit of a learning experience. Uh, last one turned out pretty good. But uh, yeah, you get packed up here and uh, get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> 